everyone and welcome back to the channel another music video reaction so this is the third signature song of the day in their second video airy song so this one was released in september of 2020 which means this is their third comeback for for the year of 2020 and then they take a break because after this two members leave and they're replaced by two others so that takes like a whole year to get through but um, I first discovered Signature on a YouTube variety show by the co-host of Shelter View, I believe. And then there's another YouTube show that I saw them in. So I thought they were pretty funny, and I liked the overall beat of their song. And just to give you an overview, I rated um, um, their debut title track, Nunu Nana, a 9.1. And then I gave their second song, Asa, a 5.1, just because I didn't really like it at all. And so I'm excited for these last two songs to see what they go about and i really like that they're a cute slash girl crush kind of style like in the same song and i really like their vocals and their visuals as well so i'm pretty excited for this one so let's just get right into it looks like they all went changed their hair colors interesting okay Yep. Starting off with a cute vibe, like the debut. Expecting great things already. Oh, her eyes are kind of like Geo's from Twice. Oh, she looks like that girl looked like Lim Young. Yeah, I've heard this one before. I think I, it was on the Ready Show. I like it. This is what I wanted from the from the similar to the debut. Ooh. Yeah, I, I like this. Well, that's similar to the Sorry Sorry dance move. I feel like the rap is super out of place. I still feel like it doesn't fit overall with the song. It kind of ruins the, the the chorus and everything. Oh, here we go. We're back into it. Oh, I really like these visuals right here. The overall production on the music video and their outfits are really great. Really matches well with them. I really like the chorus, but I feel like the rapping ruins the overall bit of the song. Alright, so that was Signature's Ari song. So... I like this, the overall production set on the music video. Their outfits and their visuals are great as always. Um, good vocals on the song. Good choreography. Um, I really, really love the chorus. But I feel like the rapping is really out of place. There was a similar song. I can't remember the name of it. That I thought the rapping was out of place on as well. And I just feel like it ruined the overall flow of the song. That's the word I was looking for, flow. I just felt like with that song, similar to this one, is that if you cut out all the rapping, it would still be a really good song, you know? I just feel like it didn't really work well together. Which is why I'm going to rate this song a 7.2. It just didn't really hit me. Like, I really, really love the chorus, but I feel like the, the all the rapping in the middle just really brought it down for me. I just feel like it didn't really work well with the song. Like, there's some rapping in groups that really work well together and are really good. Like, what comes to mind is, like, Felix and God's Menu, you know, that kind of rapping, where it actually works well with the song and there's like a change in the in the lyrics and everything like that but for me i just don't know it just didn't really fit well with this one for me honestly like somebody might disagree with me for that but i just feel like it didn't really work so that's why i'm going to give this one a 7.2 and we will now go to the fourth and final song from signature before they make their next comeback so i will see you in a couple seconds for that all right, so it's been about a year since their third song, and it's and at the time of this release date, it was November 30th, so their most recent comeback. And during their their year time gap, um, two members left the group, Yiha, Yiha, and Sun, and then they were replaced by Chloe and Dohee. 
So two new members, so a, a group change. And right now, they're at, I really, really love their debut. Then their next song I didn't like. And then their third song was decent. I'm interested to see how this one will rank up and how their vibe and how their vocals have changed with the two new additions to the team. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Like the set on the video already, it's pretty nice. Okay, it's gonna be more of a chill song, slash slow. I like her vocals. Okay, now it's the game speed, nice, okay. I like the choreography. It's definitely more of a chill song on face said. Ooh, that's a nice high note. All right, so that was Signature's Boyfriend. So I like the overall music video production and the scenes, like with like the washing machine and the phone cutting and stuff like that. Vocals were nice, choreography was nice. Um, but overall, just the beat of the song, like, you know that I don't really do the chill songs. I've said this many times before. And it definitely was, like, very vocal heavy, and I did enjoy it. Just not really my kind of thing. So I'm probably going to rate this song a 7.6 for what I listed, but it's not going to go on the playlist. Like I overall, like the music video was well produced and everything like that. It just didn't really hit me. Like I didn't really like it. Like you can tell by my facial expression and like it was, I, you know, I just don't know how to explain it. Like I liked their vocals and I loved her high note. Overall, it just didn't really feel like my kind of song, and I didn't really vibe with it as much as their first song. And I feel like the first song is definitely my favorite. And everything else, I honestly didn't really like very much. And so that's kind of sad because I really, really liked their first one. I'm probably going to react to their next comeback. I just really want the the same vibe to their, like their debut compared to like this song, you know. So that's just my initial, that's just my thoughts on the group so far and everything like that. Let me just ever watch the score. I feel like it's going to be pretty harsh, but I just didn't like Asa at all, really. But I love their vocals in it, which is why I gave them a 5 at least, you know. Which I think is going to be my lowest rated K-pop song, which is pretty unfortunate. Because I like the girls, and I think they're hilarious, and I love their vocals, you know. Just didn't really vibe with the song. Personal pre pre preference, there might be some people that absolutely love Asa, and it's their favorite signature song, you know. Just not for me. I think Nu Na 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 is my favorite. And I don't think that's going to change, unless they come back with a super fire comeback. Alright, so I just have just the score, and with a 29 total rating across four songs, that puts them at a current score of 7.25. So, this puts them in third to last place on my groups that have less than five songs. Um, right under Fairy Blue, and right above the Kim Jong Kook slash ATs mix up. Definitely pretty low for me, but it really brought up the score because their debut title track was so good. So, like I said during the video, I'm definitely going to watch their next comeback. I just, if it doesn't do it for me, I'm probably going to drop the group in all honesty. Because I really like the first one, but I just didn't like the, the the next three. So, I'm, and I, but I do like them in variety shows. So, I might still watch them in variety shows whenever they show up. Because I like their, their energy and their funny moments, you know. So, tune in for that, and I will see you next time for another group. Thank you everyone for watching, and have a great day. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so and you'll get early access to videos. There will also be polls so you can vote on what you think I should react to next. And also, if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube. And I'll put it on Patreon and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up and you can see all the videos over there. 
So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig um, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts, but I made a playlist with it. And so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.